a very good day to all our viewers and thank you for tuning into Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with a free daily petrochemicals news show. We are thrilled to have you here and if you are keen to expand your knowledge by accessing our free news, please don't forget to subscribe. Your support is deeply appreciated by all of us at Polymer Update. You are watching the Petrochemical Market Synopsis with me, Bradley Thompson. It is Wednesday, September 20th. Let's start with the energy and feedstock news. Crude oil prices fell on Tuesday owing to a rise in gasoline inventories in the United States. The decline in prices was also driven by Saudi Aramco down revising its global oil demand forecast for 2030. Brent crude prices fell by 0.09 cents settling at $94.34 per barrel while WTI futures decreased by 0.28 cents settling at $91.20 per barrel. On Tuesday, open spec naphtha prices rose by $6 per metric ton at the $721 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. In Asian market updates for polypropylene, polyethylene, and polyvinyl chloride. In polyvinyl chloride. This week, PVC prices fell in Asia owing to lower import offers from overseas suppliers coupled with weak regional demand trends. In China, PVC prices were assessed at the $840 to $886 per metric ton CFR levels, a drop of $10 per metric ton from last week. In Southeast Asia, PVC prices were assessed at the $840 to $870 per metric ton CFR levels, down $20 per metric ton from the previous week. In polypropylene. This week, PP prices gained in Asia. A rise in PP futures in China contributed to the price rise. Southeast Asia witnessed gains in prices chiefly on the back of higher feedstock costs. In polyethylene. This week, HDPE prices gained in parts of South Asia while LDPE and LLDPE prices quoted flat in most parts of the Asian region. The purchase pulse turned weak in China on the back of a depreciated yuan as compared to the US dollar. Prices were mostly steady in Southeast Asia amid a muted spot market momentum. Our special newsreel today is sponsored by Naira Energy, an Indo-Russian oil refining and marketing company that owns and operates Vadner Refinery located at Vadner, Gujarat, India with a capacity of 20 mmTPA. It owns India's second-largest single-site, state-of-the-art refinery, and one of the most modern and complex refineries in the country having businesses across the hydrocarbon value chain, from refining to retail, and is geared up to drive the vision of delivering crude to chemicals. That's all for today. Don't forget to watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This is Polymer Update, with me, Bradley Thompson from Polymer Update Virtual World. Many thanks for watching.